If you're wondering why I'm wearing this shirt, that was also the same shirt in my last video, well, I'll just go ahead and tell you it's because I didn't change. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's video. I did some online shopping. I also did some in-store shopping at Ulta and Sephora, as one does. Um, I picked up a lot of new stuff because I feel like there was a lot of new stuff coming out. And I just wanted to try out some new things. I wanted to, um, it's, it's literally my job, okay? It's my job to try new things, let you guys know how they are, and test them out. So everything that I purchased will be linked down below for your purchase if you want to buy them. And let's go ahead and get into it because it's exciting. So all of these are Sephora and Ulta purchases. So I'm just going to kind of mix them together because why not? I do have a large box here. That would have been a good thumbnail. So the first thing I picked up is I took my nails off this morning and I picked these up. These are the OPI um, press on nails and they are actually like a short little square nail but I think they'll fit. They're the instant gel like salon manicure and these are just the french press um, style I guess. I don't know. I picked those up but I'm doing the Miss Kentucky USA pageant which I've talked about a little bit um, and so I'm trying to give my nails a break because my nail girl is about an hour away and she's been in she's been on vacation for a hot minute and like I just don't have anybody to do my nails so I took them off this morning. I do feel free. Um, I also feel like a little boy. Moving on. I picked this brush up, which I used. I don't know which which one of the videos will be up um, first. There will either be the haul or it'll be trying new makeup. Maybe the haul will be first. I don't know. But I bought this to do my cream bronzer with because I used to use a really fat fluffy brush. It's from e.l.f. I loved it. Loved it so much. And I was like, I missed that. But the one that I had was Sonia Kashuk. And it shed everywhere really bad. So I picked this one up to do my cream bronzer with. And I just think that it looks really, really nice. I really enjoy the way that it looks. It's simple, easy, etc. So that's that. Pick that up. I also got this. Rosita Applebum. Is her last name Applebum? Applebottom? I can't imagine it is Applebottom. Booze with the fur. Um, anyways. She was talking about this little beauty blender puff, which is quite literally what it is. Why is it not focusing? Gel time. It's this little beauty blender puff that has um, like a microfiber sort of felt. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's really, really soft. And then it, like a spongy side on the other side. Then you can put your fingers in here. It's got silk and then you can switch it around. I don't know. She said that she used this for powders and stuff. And she was like, this is the best thing in the whole entire world. She was like, it takes excess oil off your skin. It just gives you like that really snatched look. And I said, mm, go ahead and sign me up. Go ahead and sign me up for that one. So got this. I used it today. I didn't use the spongy side, but I used the powder side. And you guys, I really like it. I really like it a lot. It looks nice. So, I also picked this up, which is so rare for me to do. Pick up anything like this. I don't even know what compelled me to do it, but nevertheless, I did. And it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay Blurring Powder Foundation. I picked this up for God only knows what reason, because I don't. Um, this is what it looks like. I got it in the shade Light Medium Sand. Yeah, Light Medium Sand 275. And that's what I set my face with today. And I actually really really like the way that my makeup looks. I think it looks so nice and like glam, but not too glam. It looks like skin and it is really, really blurring. I don't really know. Like it just looks so nice and I wasn't expecting that at all. It says it's a revolutionary 16 hour long wearing powder with full coverage of a liquid foundation. Infused with Amazonian clay and hyaluronic acid to moisturize, it won't cake, flake, or fade. It's matte, never flat, and blurs pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. And I do feel like it blurred everything really nicely, but doesn't give you that powdery look. Um, so it's going to be a yes from me so far. I really, really like it. Okay, so you guys know, if you follow me for any amount of time at all, I have been on, th honestly, this box is a mess. I have been on this Acne Safe Journey, okay? This is the Forever Skin Glow Foundation from Dior. I picked this up in the shade 3. Why is it, Why are you playing? The shade 3 Warm Olive. It looks really, really dark on camera, but it doesn't look that dark in person. It's what I'm wearing today on my face. It matched my body actually really well. I do have an olive undertone, so it makes sense. But nevertheless, so the Dior Forever Skin Foundation is acne safe. It is a 24-hour radiant wear foundation. It's perfection and hydration. Concentrated floral skincare with sunscreen in it. And like I said, it is acne safe. So, uh, choose your glow. Her name is Maddie P Pettyman. Prettyman? I'm not positive her last name, but 
choose your glow on Instagram. She always talks about products that are um, acne safe, non-acnegenic, non-comedogenic, etc. And I was like, I'm very much so down to try any product that's going to be beautiful, but also provide me with good coverage, but look really natural. So I mixed this one today with the makeup by Mario and barely put any on. Again, go watch that video if you're interested in seeing how I got my makeup like this, because I do feel like as far as base makeup goes, this looks really, really nice. Um, and I'm well pleased with how it turned out. So. so I picked this up and I was really excited about that. I also picked up the new Makeup by Mario foundations in the shade 12 O and 11 N. So this one is 11 N. It's the neutral undertone. And then this one's 12 O, which is the olive undertone. I mixed the olive undertone today. This one is just like pulls a little bit cool for me. So that's why I didn't use that one. It's just doesn't feel, I just don't think that's like my skin tone. It's just, no. So um, I'm interested to see how I like these. I also got the brush. Did I put the brush in here? Let me look. I got the brush from Makeup by Mario as well because I was just like compelled to buy it. I feel like anytime that a makeup artist comes out with a brush, it's like well thought out. So this is the brush. What is this called? Does it have a name? I want to say it's like the F1 or maybe the foundation brush. I don't know. But this end is like a more fluffy end. And then this end is more of a um, stippling shape. It's got a little bit of an angle to it. And I just stippled um, the concealer on my face that I'm going to show you guys in a second. And I can stippled the foundation on my face. And I loved the way that it just pressed right into the skin and fit in those crevices. I did my concealer with it, which is something I never do. I just really like the way that it made everything look. I'm very well pleased. Really, really, really love this product. Oh, here it is. It's the A22A. Perfect. So I'm going to keep trying these out. Everybody seems to really like it. They say it's not that great for oily skin, but I don't have oily skin. Also, if you set your foundation and use a primer, I think you should be like in the clear, but we'll test it out and we'll see. I'll let you know. I also picked this up, another recommendation from Choose Your Glow or Maddie Prettyman. Um, this is the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. I forgot to use this today though, but it is acne safe. And so I was like an acne safe primer. This one and the e.l.f. the e.l.f. dupe for the Hydro Grip is um, acne safe. And I was like, sign me up. This one feels very like silicone-y but I could see it being like very blurry and she talks a lot about it and says that she loves it. So next I picked up the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This seems like such a boring thing to pick up because it's been around for a thousand years, but this is the talc free version, which I'm so excited about because talc apparently is like absolutely terrible for you. I was unaware. I was fully unaware. Um, so anything that I can do to minimize my, like, you know, talc, I'm going to do it. And I used it today as well as the Tarte. And I really liked it. Ooh. Mm. This, the Rare Beauty, the new eye brightener. Oh my gosh. I got mine in the shade Fair Medium. Is it Fair Medium or Fair, fair Light? It's Light Medium. Okay. I was wrong. I used it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't want to mm, jump to a conclusion. But here's my conclusion. Okay. I'm sure I just didn't get that everywhere. Um, this is phenomenal. This is everything I've ever wanted. And then some. This is beautiful. This is life changing. This is stunning. I love this so, so, so much. It literally makes me look like I slept for longer than I did. It gave me like plumpness around my eyes. It gave me a even, I don't want to say coverage because I'm not somebody who has really dark circles. So if you have dark circles. I don't know that you'll love this, but I think that you'll love it for the color correcting properties that it has in it because it does have a peachier undertone, which is beautiful for color correcting any dark circles or anything like that. More so my issue is hollowness in my medial face. Like if I look down, you can see that's disgusting, honestly. Anyways, um, my under eyes are just a little bit more hollow rather than dark. So, you know, but I still feel like this does a good job of like brightening my under eye. So you get a broader look, which is what I feel like everyone's going for. It's especially what I'm going for. So this, for me, 30 out of 10. 30 out of 10. Also, go watch that video for another reason. I thought I was going to hate this blush. This is a shade Encourage from Rare Beauty. I put it on, it was giving purple mauve. And I said, my least favorite color is purple mauve. My least favorite color is purple mauve. And then I blended it out and I said, we'll take it. You're coming home with me. Um, some of the Ulta stuff is mixed in. So I picked up another shade of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is in the shade three. Yeah, shade three. I usually use five, you know, but I used this today under my makeup and just the high points to give me a little bit of a glow underneath. And I do love the way that it looks, but you guys know I already love that product. I also picked up these Tweezerman um, eyelash curlers 
from Sephora because everybody always talks about Tweezer Man and I did use it today and I do feel like it made a difference as far as like the, like this part is so wide. My other eyelash curlers are not as wide and it, I guess, stops about here and I don't get all my eyelashes in there. And I didn't even know that like it was a thing to have eyelash curlers this wide, but I mean, that thing would get in my eyeball if I wanted it to, so she's in your business. Um, another thing from Rare Beauty that I picked up is the Rare Beauty um, bronzer stick. This is in the shade Sunny Days, Happy Days, Always Sunny. Am I making crap up today? I guess so. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It looks like chocolate brown, actually, is what it looks like. Blends out phenomenally, blends out flawlessly. Love that. Love the fact that it's just a little drawn stick. You know what I mean? We love a simple girl. We love a simple girl. We love a simple moment. And I don't really have a lot of those. So anytime I can find a product that gives me a simple moment, I like it. This is the new Too Faced Blush. I love this packaging. It's so like luxe and pretty and just gives me like, be honest, am I royalty? Sort of vibes, you know, but I didn't marry into royalty. Royalty is my bloodline. Sort of vibes. No tea, no shade. Uh, anyways, this is the shade Candy Clouds, which I hate that name. I'm like, can we grow up? You know, can we please grow up? I guess we can't though. Anyway, that's the shade. Beautiful, beautiful, stunning pink shade. I use it under my eyes as per usual. That's what I do with a cool tone pink blush. I think everybody needs one of these. Whether you're the palest of pale or the darkest of dark, you need a blush similar to this. You know, I love Persona Cosmetics Bubble. It's beautiful. Um, I also picked up some stuff from Milk Makeup, which I never, I'm lying to you. This is only one product from Milk Makeup. I picked this up because Tony said Dallas, actually both of these. She was talking about these in her either yearly favorites or her updated makeup video or something like that. One of her videos. And it was the Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer from Milk Makeup. This is fat packaging. I don't know why Milk loves nothing more than to have inconvenient packaging on some of their products. Their Kush um, mascara is offensively heavy to me. Like, what is the reason for it being so heavy? Anyway, so I got this because she said that she loves this and I trust her with my life. And, oh, that is really creamy. So I'm excited to use this. Even though it does have a uh, fat packaging, this is what the applicator looks like. It's like a little, honestly, like a little triangle. Yep. So we have that. There's also this um, liquid gel contour from KBD Beauty. KBT, whatever Kat Von D would just like had her beauty brand and they said well, you know what goodbye Kat Von D but we'll keep the KBD like that was a whole thing that was a whole thing I got mine in the shade light medium this is what it looks like I'm sure you guys have seen it everybody was saying like it was a good dupe or like alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury whatever it's not gonna focus a good alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury um contour wand and people were saying that they liked it or liked it better and so I'm really excited to see how I like it because the way that it's blending out on my hand is really nice. It's just providing me with some color, but it's really easy to blend. I'm excited to try that. Love. Oh, I got another. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I got another product from KBD Beauty. It's the concealer. It is the gel concealer in the shade Light 109. I do not. I tried this at Ulta yesterday and I really don't like the, the top of this. This little knob thing. No, absolutely no. I also think this is going to be super light. You guys know I like a bright under eye, but that's a little stark for me. It's a little stark. It's okay. You live and you learn. Um, another concealer that I picked up actually in store at Sephora is this one. This is the Giorgio Armani Concealer in the shade 6. This is my actual skin tone. I have an olive skin tone. This is the perfect color for me. The perfect color. I have a pimple right here that is offensively large. I woke up and looked down and I said, oh, what is that crater? What is a mountain? And it was indeed my pimple. It was humbling. Anyways, so I picked this up the other day and I was like, you know what? I don't want to use my luminous silk foundation all the time. I just kind of want to have like something that's just like pop it on, looks really good, etc. That's this. That is this concealer. It is stupidly good. Did I just lose my, lose my voice? Okay, I have two more products from Ulta, I think. Is that all? Yeah. So, it is the Elf Luminous Putty Bronzer. And then, well, actually, I have two of them. I just had to say shade Summer Fridays and... What is this shade? Day Trip. So, Day Trip is a little bit darker. That's what this one looks like. 
and it's the luminous putty bronzer so i'll swatch that for you guys so you can see hopefully i tried to use it today but to be honest with you the brush i was using i could not fit in the in the like how little this is you know so i didn't really get to use it how i wanted to so this one's summer fridays and this one's happy days so this is a little bit more cool tone that's a little bit more warm so if you're looking for warm go summer fridays if you're looking for cool tone more like a contourish kind of shade go for happy days then i picked up two perfumes oh three perfumes actually but i picked up one in store and we'll get to it and if you made it to this to the end of the video then you have a treat in store tbh because i'm talking about it last i picked this up this is the donna karen cashmere mist I picked this up because everybody said that the deodorant smelled so good, but it smells exactly like the locker room at a gym I used to go to. Um, and it wasn't a bad smelling locker room, but it just gave me those vibes. And I said, the last thing that I'll do is smell like a public gym locker room. So Donna Karen, sweetie, honey, baby girl, why you gotta do that? Next up, Kaoli Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. If you know me, and I hope you do, then you know that I love vanilla perfumes. You know that I live for patchouli. Listen to the notes of this. Sugared patchouli. Royal oh, oud. Brown sugar. Okay. Creme brulee. Golden rum. And vanilla something or another. Okay. And then it comes in this packaging. Which is just. Yeah. Okay. Stunning. And I smell it. And I think to myself. Why does this smell so familiar? It's because it smells like Vanilla 28. It's because it smells like Vanilla 28. And I'm like, bestie girl. And I've had this issue. I've had this issue with Kaoli. And I didn't want to bring it up. I didn't want to bring... I didn't want to shed light on it. You know what I mean? I didn't want to expose anybody. But I have so many Kaoli fragrances that I live, breathe, and die for. Like, I'm like, congratulations. You guys make phenomenal fragrances. I love this fragrance house so much. It's so individual. It's so niche. It's so good. I, they last forever. I love them. But their fragrances are starting to smell the same. And I'm not going nose blind. Okay. I'm not. Like, I smell this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I have that perfume. It's Vanilla 28. To me, like, there, if you're going to come out with two vanilla perfumes, there needs to be such a differentiation in between them that there is no question which one's which. You know what I mean? And I feel like this is eerily similar to Vanilla 28. I, there is a little bit of a, of a more, not muskiness, but, like, patchouli like you do smell that patchouli as a base note but to be honest with you I think I like vanilla 28 better and it's like why did you play these games on me why did you do that it's like if you spray deja vu white flower and then you spray vanilla 28 on top of it that's exactly what it smells like deja vu white flower has patchouli in it let me tell you a story I found the best perfume in the whole entire world. I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to say nothing to nobody. And I still, like, I'm, I'm going to make a full video on it. I'm going to make a full video on it. But if you're watching this video, just consider yourself blessed. Because why did I not wear my hair like that in the first place? It looks so much better. Okay, you're done. Fired immediately. Um, This is so good. This is Tom Ford Bitter Peach. This cost me um, both of my big toes and part of my kidney. I don't care. This is my top three perfumes of all time up there with Santa Blush from Tom Ford. Tom Ford, honey, you do so well in the fragrance department. Tom Ford Ombre Leather, Tom Ford Santa Blush, Tom Ford, what is it called? Black Orchid, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I love Tom Ford, I love Tom Ford. Tom Ford Bitter Peach? I'm going to tell you a story. You would think a peach smell is adolescent. You would think a peach smell is not sexy. You would think a peach smell is kid-like. You would think a peach smell is like not the vibe. Let me tell you what this is. This is a peach. Okay. A perfectly good looking peach. A delicious, juicy peach. Walking around in Christian Louboutins, but not the kind that everybody has. I'm talking rare Christian Louboutins. Red bottom heels. With an Hermes crocodile Birkin bag, smoking one of them long cigarettes with a little white thing on the end. You know what I'm talking about? And she just got a blowout and she got an elevator in her house. Not because she needs an elevator in her house, but she got one from her closet to her bedroom because it's multiple floors. 
that's that kind of peach. So just close your eyes and imagine like a Mr. Potato Head, but it's a peach and that's that's the vir environment that she lives in. I cannot express to you how good that this smells. I didn't want to like it. Matter of fact, I wanted to hate it. I cannot love this anymore. I could not love this anymore. It is the sexiest smell I've ever smelled in my entire life. It is intoxicating. It is cripplingly good. It's phenomenal. It is stupidly, stupidly, stupidly good. And I love it so much. And I'm going to make a video on it. So if you're watching this, just know that a video on this is coming. It's so good. I love this with my whole entire heart. And you're like, Katie, that tiny bottle is $240. I, <laughs> I know that. I'm the one who purchased it. Facts are facts. And the facts are, it's stupidly good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Okay. That's everything that I have to talk about. That's everything I have to say. That's everything I purchased. Actually, it's not. I forgot a brow product over there, but we'll talk about it in another video. It's not that good anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to purchase any of these products, they'll be linked down below for you. I have to go pick up a interview dress or interview outfit in 20 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe before you leave and have a fabulous day.